Welcome to the following presentation of the NCCVL League Championships here on the Stanford Club Sports YouTube channel. Hello friends, Jacob Van Rokel here once more for this Sunday morning first game of the D1 bracket. The number one seed Cal Poly Slows A-Team had a bye week yesterday and now taking on the Santa Clara Broncos who defeated Chico State in a five-set thriller yesterday early afternoon. So slow with an off day. Now Fastwood taking on these high momentum Broncos of Santa Cruz going through their final huddle on the left side of the court. Let's quickly go ahead and meet the starting lineups for both sides beginning with the Broncos of Santa Clara. Number four, Ben Irola. 13, Seth Madden. Number 14, Kavai Hong. 25, Justin Odo. 34, Cade Morgan. The libero, number five, Alex Marquez. And number two, the setter, Jack Mayer, who had a phenomenal game yesterday in that big five-set victory. And now for the Mustangs from Cal Poly Slow, their A-team, number 11, Harry Kasif. 12, Josh Livergood. 14, the star outside hitter, Cormac Williams. 18, Joel Petrie. 24, Sam Kasif. And the libero, number five, Brandon Ng. For these Cal Poly Sloan Mustangs, number one seed in the South, 10 and two record on the season overall. There are two losses. One came to these Broncos of Santa Clara and the other versus UC Davis back on March 3rd. So the season series between these two squads, even one apiece, but now when it really matters here in the playoffs, who is gonna come out with the victory and take on the winner of the Sac State UC Davis game in just a couple of hours. Behind the line to get things started for the Broncos, Kavai Hong. Kavai Hong, the star of this team offensively, had a phenomenal performance in the yesterday victory. Kavai Hong got a ton of action as he starts this one off with a service error. If you missed the game yesterday, these Broncos had a plethora of service errors that really kept the Wildcats alive in the game. Thankfully, they were able to pull out the victory, which brings them right here. And that man, Justin Odo, a big part of the victory yesterday. Odo, one of the more bouncy guys you'll ever see on the court as he gets the Broncos their first point of the game. As I was trying to say with Kavai Hong earlier, they ran the offense essentially solely through him. And when I spoke with Coach Han prior to this one, she may be happy with the result, but not happy with the fact that her team was so reliant on Hong for the victory. They're looking for a more balanced approach here this Sunday morning. You'll see on the left wrist of all of these Bronco players, a little green wristband, probably nearly impossible to see from the camera angle up here. But that is a big part of this team's success throughout the entire season. As right there, Sam Kasif gets on the board with an early kill for the Mustangs. But go green. That is the Santa Clara Broncos go-to motto. And I'll give you a moment to think about what go green might mean. Well, the answer, pretty obvious. It has to do with the stoplight. Yesterday, Coach Han felt like they were more in the yellow side of things, a bit slow and stagnant offensively. So against these Mustangs, they know they're going to have to go green all game long. And that wristband on the left side reminds each of those players to do just that. Back to serve now for the Broncos, Seth Madden. Madden got involved late yesterday in the win for the Broncos, helped them pull away in that fifth set. Chance here for Santa Clara. Up the middle, Hong puts it down for the kill. Kavai Hong able to respond after that service error just moments ago. An early 3-3 game here in the first set with these Cal Poly slow Mustangs having their B team advance also in the D2 bracket. They brought a large crowd with that B team sitting front row on the left side of the screen as their squad quickly behind one point to the Broncos. 
three straight points for Santa Clara. Continuing to serve is Madden. That one too strong, wisely let go by Brandon Ng. A quick two service errors for the Broncos. Continues to hurt their early chances in both games so far this bracket. Back to serve for the Mustangs. Harry Kasif. The two Kasifs on the squad. A big part of their success throughout the entire season. Joined alongside Cormac Williams, who was ranked as the top outside hitter in the league. Cormac will see him certainly get involved. Number 14 right in the middle S. Hong a good first touch. It'll set him right back up. The tip shot gets him the kill right over the front line of Sam Kasif. Harry Kasif for the Mustangs, their 6-6 setter. When I was speaking with Coach Manny Carter, he said Kasif has stepped up the most for these Mustangs out of any player this entire season. Cormac right side responds with his own float kill for slow. Manny Carter for these Mustangs has been coaching the men's side since fall of 2015. He coached Cal Poly in 2010 on the women's side up until 2014 before switching over to the men's side. Has a personal volleyball history himself playing high school for slow. Back and forth game to start here in Burnham Pavilion. The freshman Cade Morgan back to serve. A phenomenal conference debut for Morgan yesterday. He got the offense going early before Hong was able to heat up himself and take it for the rest of the game. King back to serve for the Mustangs. An early one point advantage over the Broncos. Front side action for Hong. The spinner, good enough for the kill as he secures the one handed grab in the process. So far, it still has been all Hong for the Broncos. Like I just mentioned, Coach Hong does want to distribute the wealth knowing that these Mustangs are going to be eyeing Hong all game long. Ben Irola, another phenomenal outside for the Broncos. Certainly going to have to be a big factor if they're going to look to take the victory over the one-seeded Mustangs. Back to serve Emmett Ernstein. The defensive specialist plays it to Irola. Up the middle, Odo! Gets the kill off the deflection from the Mustangs, Joel Petrie. As we continue to go back and forth here early. Hong back to serve. Broncos bench cheering him on from the sidelines. Back set right side, just miscommunication there between Kasif and Petri. Gives Santa Clara the point on the miscue. Should this game go four plus sets, it'll be interesting to see if the Broncos legs are still with them. All these guys, young superstar athletes in college as Marquez, a phenomenal up. As Irola finishes the play with the kill. Defense leading to offense for the Broncos. But like I was saying, five sets yesterday in the win over Chico State. These guys are young. They've got fresh legs at this age. But it'll be interesting if they get to double-digit sets in two, in two days, that is. Could be an advantage for the Mustangs later on. But for now, a close one early in set one as we near the midway point. One point lead for the Broncos. 
Back to serve for the Mustangs, Josh Livergood. Irola gets it right back, left side. Picks up the kill on the deflection, out of bounds. Irola effective early in his few chances. Irola, the super senior from Carmel, his fifth year with these Broncos, and he's seen his fair share of Mustangs throughout his five years at Santa Clara. Marquez back to serve. The Oak Ridge High School alumni, same as myself, so I had a chance to speak with Marquez. Prior to this game, we talked about things somehow didn't connect at Oak Ridge, despite the sports media for me and the volleyball for Alex Marquez. So Alex and myself doing our best to represent the EDH background. Back to serve for the Mustangs, Joel Petrie. Tires a rocket to Hong. Hong from behind the line finds the baseline for the kill. Deep position there for Kavai Hong. Doesn't impact him in the slightest. Able to give Santa Clara another two point advantage. And the serve goes back to Seth Madden. Madden, the junior opposite from Seaside, a near ace. Mustangs keep it alive. Action at the net. Kill goes to the Mustangs and Sam Kasif. Two early kills for Kasif, the grad student, middle blocker from San Diego. Going back to serve now. The other Kasif, Harry, the junior. Couple years split. The two brothers. Hong beyond the line again. Broncos get it right back on the first touch. Good chance now. Irola left side. Too strong. Point goes to the Broncos. Pardon, to the Mustangs. Alex Marquez was looking for a deflection call from the referee. None given. We find ourselves tied yet again here in set one. About to cross the halfway point through the first set. Front side action, Morgan up the middle. Misses wide left. Coach Hahn was saying some of these underclassmen, which does include Cade Morgan, but I don't think she was talking about him when he said the underclassmen maybe felt some nerves in their first collegiate and CCVL championship, especially here in the historic Burnham Pavilion. Morgan showed zero nerves yesterday. Mustangs now a chance from the left side. Action at the net gives them the kill. Cormac Williams involved there working against Morgan. And the star outside hitter picks up the point for Cal Poly Slow. Cormac, another grad student from San Diego on this squad. Lots of SoCal kids staying down there in the beautiful slow area. Four consecutive points for the Mustangs. Gives them a two-point advantage over the Broncos. Marquez takes the first touch. Irola behind the line. Strong and wide right once more for the Broncos and a 5-0 run for the Mustangs takes us to our first timeout called by Coach Hahn of the Broncos. We'll step aside here in the Burnham Pavilion. Slow up, 15-12. Back in the action in set number one. Five nothing run for the Mustangs. Gives them a three point advantage over the Broncos. 
in the second half of this first set. Continuing the fire from behind the line, Harry Kasif getting in a groove. Kasif, a deep breath, floating it over to Irola. Cross court, Eaker with a chance. Can't spin it to the back baseline. And the run continues for the Mustangs. Eker Mendebuo Perez, his first try at the kill, can't connect. Bench trying to get the Broncos back in the game. Now down four points to the Mustangs. Hong does just that, a missile off the upper body of Brandon Ng. Ng appears all good, some smiles going on for Brandon Ng. Ng the junior from San Jose. So a quick trip here to Stanford if his family is in attendance. Irola to Ng. Front side action, unable to make the dig for the Broncos was Nikhil Wong. Tyler Armstrong gets the first kill for the Mustangs in this one. Cormac Williams back to serve. Just a couple early touches for Cormac, trying to get into his offensive rhythm with the squad. Hong, awkward angle on the set, can't connect, and he's met at the net by a trio of Mustangs. He's number one seeded Cal Poly Sloan Mustangs, showing why they're exactly that. Down 12-2. Now an 18-13 lead. Point goes to the Mustangs on the double violation. As Jack Taylor will come, Jack Mayer that is, will come back in for the Broncos. Mayer, this team's primary setter. Mayer plays it for Irola. Mustangs in good position. Right side attack. Now up the middle. Second touch kill goes to Sam Kasif again, the grad student. Picking up the kills early for the Broncos as they reach the 20 point mark first here in the first set. Pardon me, point goes to the Broncos on that last one. No kill for Kasif. But now picking up the kill officially for the Mustangs, Tyler Armstrong. As now slow hits the 20 point mark. Odo back in for the Broncos. They're gonna need the high leaper to try to stop the front line of the Mustangs. Odo gets it up the middle, but just can't connect with the ball. Looking at his hand, like what just happened? Rare miscue there for Justin Odo. Now up to a seven point Mustang lead. Second timeout called by Coach Hahn and the Broncos. Gonna need to figure things out on both sides. Trailing late in the first set. In. Big lead early in set one for the Mustangs, 21-14. Miscommunication there for Cal Poly, slow for touch violation. We'll give the point to the Broncos. Back in comes Seth Madden 
for Santa Clara and behind the line to serve Jack Mayer. Middle action, picking up the kill for the Mustangs right there, Joel Petrie. Mustangs getting any look they want offensively. And credit them also for connecting on these opportunities, not making any errors essentially. And an effective seven point lead in the first set. Odo up the middle will pick up his second kill for the Broncos, deflected out of bounds, off slow. Broncos on the court trying to get themselves back into this one slow. Three points away from taking a 1-0 lead. Kavai Hong back to serve. Left side action. Now Roland Owl will try on that side. Well, he'll pick up the kill for the Broncos. Not the cleanest of attacks from the fifth year senior, Ben Irola, but effective enough to get the kill. Excuse me, yet again, mistake there. Slow gets the point on the net violation. Now two times they fooled me from up here, hard to see. The sideline official below me point out these violations. Service there gives it right back to Santa Clara. Libero Marquez back to serve yet again. Mustangs forced to rally, they cannot. Marquez with the ace. For Santa Clara, rare mishap there for Emmett Ernstein of the Mustangs. Still a five point advantage for Cal Poly Slow. Left side attack, Marquez there for the first touch. Broncos able to scramble. Irola puts it across. Second touch kill, easy action for Harry Kasif. Saw the gap and took advantage of it. Slow. Set point number one here in Burnham Pavilion. Throughout both brackets so far, the first set a huge decider and who ends up coming away with the overall match victory. Morgan up the middle, the freshman gets the big kill and keeps the Broncos alive here in the first set. Seth Madden set to serve for the Broncos. Up the middle action yet again. It's Sam Kasif providing the kills for Cal Poly Slow. He racks up five in the first set. And the Mustangs take a 25-19 set one victory as we'll flip sides here in Burnham Pavilion. Second set action when we're back.
Welcome back to the Stanford Club Sports YouTube channel. 1-0 set lead for Cal Poly Slow over the Santa Clara Broncos. It was, qu it was close in the beginning of the first set before the Broncos used a 5-0 run to really pull away from Santa Clara. In that first set action for the Mustangs, it really wasn't a whole lot of Cormac Williams, their top kill getter, one of the best outside hitters in the league. It was a lot of Sam Kasif, the middle blocker grad student from San Diego. You see him right there on the white line. Kasif, the tall brother, getting it done for the Mustangs in that first set. Kavai Hong for the Broncos had his fair share of kills. Ben Irola the same but just not enough to prevail over these number one seeded down south Cal Poly Slow Mustangs. 10 and two record on the season for Slow. Heading into this tournament play, they had won four of their last five. The only loss did come against these Santa Clara Broncos back on March 16th, three to two to score in five sets. Hong gets it started for the Broncos. Santa Clara, a quick 2-0 lead. Trying to pounce on the Mustangs early. Put this set two action out before it can even begin. Taylor plays it. Odo up the middle. He's met by Sam Kasif. Left side try, Irola. That one stays on the sideline. Brandon Ng saying my bad to his squad. A rocket from Irola, somehow able to spin its way in bounds. The Sac State men's team being the sideline officials as well as the scores down on the table below me. That's how it's worked all NCC VL championship. If it's the first game of the day, the guys playing second forced to officiate. And then the loser of this game will have to officiate the Sac State UC Davis game. Mustangs get their first point of the set right there. Back to serve for slow, Josh Livergood. Livergood, the sophomore from Colorado Springs. Plays it to Marquez, quick action, Odo right side, able to get under the arm of Ernstein. That deflection off of his own teammate Set him back just half a second. That was enough. Marquez, a quick shoe adjustment as Jack Meyer showing off the soccer juggling skills. 4-1 lead early in the second set for the Broncos. Left side, here's Cormac. He'll pick up the kill, deflected. Off of the Broncos outside, Seth Madden. Libero Ng back to serve for Cal Poly. Ricochets to Hong, up the middle. Morgan, a super slam right in front of Ernstein yet again. So the Broncos targeting the defensive specialist Ernstein early in this second set, 5-2 advantage. Madden back to serve. The first touch off of Cormac went to the net, trying to poke it over there was Kasa, but he was met by the wall of red jerseys. 
Front line of Morgan and Irola picking up the block point for Santa Clara, 6-2 lead. Cormac gets it, blocked once more. My goodness, the Broncos really shutting down the star outside Cormac Williams early. When this one's all said and done, Cormac is gonna get his fair share of kills. But if the Broncos can hold him to a sub 30 percentage, I'd say that's a job well done. No one's there. Kasif went for the back set. Joel Petri was just right behind him. And boy, an early 8-2 lead in this second set for the Broncos forces coach Manny Carter and assistant Natalie Marks to talk things over with their squad down early in set number two. The Broncos fell in major fashion in the first set, responding perfectly here in set number two. Coach Manny Carter calling timeout, trying to stop the run that Santa Clara currently has going, an 8-2 lead. Tough action there for Cormac, but thankfully for the Mustangs, Mayer pokes it out of bounds. In set number one, Slow was able to really run whatever offense they wanted. The Broncos a bit more disruptive here in set number two. Five point advantage early. Back to serve Harry Kasif, the 6'6 six, six setter. Kasif in his junior season, this team's most improved player given by coach Manny Carter. Mustangs get the first two points out of the timeout. Kasev plays to Marquez. Hong up the middle. Ricochets well off the arms of Brandon Ng. Over to the Broncos side and out of bounds. Hong from the back line. Now three kills from that position. Then Irola back to serve for the Broncos. a good first touch. Irola there for the attack. Left side Hong, he's met at the net. Broncos able to scramble. Back set, Cormac at the net, plays right to Meyer. Hong puts the point away right off the body of Ng yet again. Brandon Ng has taken some shots off the hand of Kavai Hong. Kavai Hong, a little apology wave there at Ng. The Hawaiian native showing some good sportsmanship. His team up 10 to four in the second set. Right side, Cormac met by Hong. No one else there to scramble for the Broncos. Cormac gets his second kill of the affair. Williams after the attack goes back to serve now for Slow. Puts it right into the heart of the net. Second service error of the game for the Mustangs. Same amount for the Broncos. If you missed the first game for Santa Clara yesterday against Chico State, nearly double digit service errors kept the Wildcats alive before prevailing in set number five. Left side kill there for the Mustangs. Cuts into the deficit, still down by five. Coming in the serve for Cal Poly, Austin James, the freshman from Santa Barbara.
Sims with some basketball free throw and like dribbles for firing it to Irola. Left side, Hong. Backside action, right side attack, no good for the Mustangs. Tyler Armstrong couldn't get that one over the front line of Broncos. Mayer back to serve for Santa Clara. Doubling the point scored by the Mustangs as we reach the halfway point in set number two. There once more is Sam Kasif, the tall middle blocker having his way in that middle Sanford Cardinal logo. Justin Odo for the Broncos, a tough task going against Sam Kasip, but Odo can jump with the best of them. Right side Hong, deflected. Try it again, same spot. Mustangs now a chance on offense for Cormac. Marquez a good up. Irola from the back line. Mustangs play it well once more. And Cormac ends the point. Big fist pumps for the Mustangs. Our first rally, it feels like, of the game goes in favor of Slow. We saw with the Cal Poly Slow B team, they had their fair share of chance going after essentially every point. This A squad a bit more collected. But when I spoke with Coach Manny Carter a few weeks ago, he said despite the antics that they may show on the court, these are some very good guys who just love to play volleyball together and they have a good shot at winning nationals, which takes place after a bye week next week. It'll start April 18th, where the top 48 ranked D1 teams will advance. We certainly expect to see both of these squads there yet again. Coach Carter trying to help claw his team back into this deficit they have on the Broncos. Both teams back onto the court here in set number two. Back to serve Emmett Ernstein for the Mustangs. Ernstein a high lobber right to Marquez. Up the middle, Odo is met by Kasif. Boy, Sam Kasif having the advantage over Justin Odo, the sophomore middle blocker. Kasif, okay, so three more years of experience showing it here on the court. Ernstine continues to serve. Irola wisely lets it go. Good call as well by the libero Marquez. Hong goes back to serve. Santa Clara up four points. Friendly roll off the net. Mustangs keep it for Kasif. Takes care of the rest. Points right at his brother, Harry, who set him up. Double digits now for the Mustangs. Action right side. Picking up the kill for the Broncos is Madden yet again. Marquez behind the line to serve for Santa Clara. Four point lead in the second set. Slow took the first set. Broncos trying to respond. Left side, Cormac met but out of bounds it goes. Hard deflection off Cade Morgan and Seth Madden. Williams with a few kills here in the second set. Brandon Ng going back to serve for the Mustangs. Cormac holding up the two sign, signaling to Ng. Fires a ricochet into the net. Third service error of the game for Slow. 
for this Cal Poly Slow A team. Despite the bye yesterday, they were still out here cheering on the B squad in the D2 bracket. That Cal Poly Slow B team heading to the finals where they'll face San Jose State later this afternoon, scheduled for a 2 p.m. start. Yesterday, the schedule was about half an hour to 45 minutes late all day long. A couple five set matches early before back to back sweeps. Harry Kasif back to serve for the Mustangs. Files and Neckler to Irola. Ben gets it right back. Picks up the kill for Santa Clara. Back to a four point advantage for the Broncos. Irola after the kill, heads back to serve. Cormac, tip kill, effective. Able to get Kavai Hong to jump early on the fake. Just tip it right in front of the outstretched arms of Jack Mayer. Williams now, after the kill, heads back to serve. Left side, Hong gets it. A push right in front of the diving Ng. Ng stays down for a couple seconds to collect his breath. Ng just said, why do I keep landing on there? Maybe tweaking a previous injury. He has plenty of tape on his first three fingers on that right hand. So maybe re-injuring something on that right hand. Take a quick break, Ng appears all good. Now below me, sideline official checking in with the scores table, not exactly sure what they're talking about down below with two guys of the Sac State men's team. Play resumed here in the Burnham Pavilion, four point lead for Santa Clara. Cormac up the middle. Right off the Broncos, out of bounds. Williams took the back seat to Sam Kasif in the first set. And now going back to his typical grade A self. Austin James back in the serve for slow. Right side, Hong. Unable to really get there to set himself up for a good spot, but picks up the kill regardless. Tough break there for Josh Livergood. Thought he was in a good spot. Unfortunately, goes out on him. Kavai Hong really worked sideline to sideline there to pick up the kill for the Broncos. Kasif. Off the very chippy chop of the fingertips, still good enough for the kill and the point for slow. It's brother Harry at 6'6", six, six. and boy, Sam Kasif at least a couple inches taller up in the middle. Odo gets the call in the middle, goes off the tall arms of Kasif and falls on the side of the Mustangs. Odo now a few kills in the game so far for Santa Clara. The star Hong back to serve. Bench getting him into it. A missile at Ng once more. Ng plays it well. Sets up liver good. That one wide right. Santa Clara now. First squad to 20 in the second set. Five point advantage over the Mustangs. Crowd on both sides of the bleachers about even, but it's definitely about 80 20, if not more, in favor of Slow. Service air gives the ball right back to the Mustangs. 
continuing to hit some basketball-like moves is Austin James from the bench. Three airs by both sides. Back to serve Zach Zoe for the first time. Odo gets the call again. A vertical straight down rocket for the kill. Sparks some high fives as he trots over to the bench. Alex Marquez set to serve. Five point advantage still for Santa Clara. And as long as it stays back and forth point wise, Santa Clara in line to take this second set. Cormac left side too strong. Can't spin that one to the baseline. 22-16 lead for Santa Clara calls coach Manny Carter to call timeout for the Mustangs down late in the second set. Santa Clara with a commanding lead here in set number two, up 22 to 16. Ball in possession of Marquez for the Broncos. Left side, Cormac can't put it down and now he does. Stayed alive, Ivrola and Marquez were there. Cormac now five kills in the set. Now to number five libero for the Mustangs. Brandon Ng back to serve. Hong a good first touch. That's at Madden. Stuffed by Williams. Cormac doing it on both sides. Now four slow. We've seen after the losing team receives their awards for the regular season for certain after a defeat or a victory eventually in the end championship, Cormac Williams, a certain first team selection for slow. Fourth service there of the game for the Mustangs. Puts these Broncos two points away from a set two victory. Seth Madden back to serve. Front side action, picking up the kill there is Zach Zoe. His first point of the game. Harry Kasif ready to serve for Cal Poly. Mustang still trail 23-19. Marquez plays that one. Would have been near the outside line. Kavai Hong with a foot save, but not enough to keep it alive for the Broncos. Slow three consecutive points out of that timeout. So whatever Coach Manny Carter and assistant Natalie Marks came up with at the break, certainly effective out of the timeout. Front side for Irola off the fingertips of Harry Kasif and out of bounds. Irola got it going in the beginning of this set, but has since gone back to the backseat roll to Kavai Hong. But Irola much more effective compared to Hong in his limited sample size, that is. Right side, Cormac picks up the kill. Off Hong and out of bounds. Still set point for Santa Clara. Trying to put this to a 1-1 game as more 
Cal Poly fans come into attendance. A scramble here, sets up Hong, he's stuffed. This time for the Mustangs, it's Tyler Armstrong doing the damage. Slow, trying to will themselves back into this second set. That'll take us to a timeout called by Coach Esther Hahn now. Coach Hahn has her team up too, but the momentum shifted towards the Mustangs. For these Broncos, this would be a perfect time to go back to their green light go motto with their third set point on the Mustangs. Williams serve goes to Hong. A scramble, Hong left side, and that'll do it for the Broncos. Big point out of the timeout to even this thing at one set apiece. Gavai Hong starts it, and he'll finish the set for Santa Clara. We're all tied after two. Third set coming up in a couple minutes. Jacob and Rokel back inside Burnham Pavilion for set three action. We're all knotted up at one apiece. Slow took set one. Broncos able to rally to take set number two. It came down to the wire a bit more than it looked for the Broncos. 
had a strong 23-17 advantage before eventually a 5-0 run made this thing a little bit too close for the Broncos. Kavai Hong from the left side was able to end things. Poor slow, already one tournament win for them on the season. This team started playing well last fall and eventually in preseason they felt good in the tournament in San Diego where they defeated some of the best teams in the nation. Coach Manny Carter's main message was that they're just trying to figure things out before this moment in time in the league chance before eventually Nationals as the next step in the future for the Mustangs. But right now, they're trying to defeat that man right there and the Broncos. Kavai Hong, first ace of the game. And the huddle coming into this third set. Hong, one of the more quiet guys, just taking everything in from Ben Irola, the fifth year senior, trying to lead this squad as a mentor on and off the court. Just a vocal guy trying to will his squad to a third set victory. Mayer pokes it across. Good chance now for the Mustangs. Left side. Pancake save by Hong. Another try, Mustangs up the middle. That one off the ceiling two times. Hong able to save it on the second touch. Irola on the third. My goodness, the Broncos are not giving up here on this rally. Hong back line, no. Mustangs left try again, and the defense wills the Broncos to the second point of the third set. Oh my goodness. At what point in time did it look like that one was going to go to the Broncos? Never until finally the ball landed on the side of the Mustangs. Boy, everyone on that point for Santa Clara had at least one diving play, it felt like. Left side try again. Odo Madden, two straight blocks for Santa Clara. Josh Livergood. Can't find the gap on the left side. He'll come out for Coach Carter. Hong will continue to serve for the Broncos. 3-0 start to this third set. Hong has that one hit the sideline. Emmett Ernstein disagreeing with the call. Sac State men's guy, sideline official, saying it touched. And now two aces in the set for Hong. The few Santa Clara fans in attendance getting into this one. Hong, three aces in the set. He just puts his arms up, gives the Jordan shrug. Like, what more can you ask this guy to do? 5-0 lead. All things going right now for Santa Clara. Timeout, Coach Carter. Well, if the bands on the left wrist of these Broncos were a mood ring, it definitely would be as about as bright as green can get, brighter than the Mustangs jerseys on the other side of the court. All things go for the Broncos, not letting go of the gas as the Mustangs pick up their first point of the set. Good out of timeout execution for slow. Back to serve, Luca Kerr. Odo, tough angle up the middle. Will give the Mustangs a good try. Left side, Cormac. Wide left. Point goes to Santa Clara. Now 
Alex Marquez back to serve for the Broncos. Marquez can't keep it in bounds. Tried to hit that back baseline, unable to do so. Mustangs wisely let that one sail out of play. Once more, Libero to Libero action. Now Brandon Ng set to serve. Ng a deep breath, 10 feet by the line. Spinner right to Marquez, good first touch. Up the middle, Morgan picks up the kill. Carry violation on Kasif. Okay, Morgan now a few kills here. Just the freshman put on maybe the performance of the year for Cade Morgan, the San Jose native. Hong can't get that one off the deflection. Mustangs with the kill up the middle. So far, Santa Clara has won the outside battle, but up the middle in that red Stanford logo, it's been all Mustangs. Harry Kasif back to serve. Left side, Morgan stuffed the first time. Back set action, Irola picks up the kill. Alex Marquez, a beautiful find to Irola. The super senior went out ahead, back to serve for the Broncos, boasting an 8-3 advantage early in this third set. Irola spinner right to the Mustangs. Right side action, Williams finds Wong. A chance now, Cormack again, right side. Wong there yet again for the Broncos. Hong now to chip kill, no, good diving effort from Kasif. Another long rally here at Burnham Pavilion. Cormack wide right, that'll end it on the air. The first long rally of the game went in favor of the Mustangs, but now back to back have been won by Santa Clara. Six point lead for the guys in red. Left side action, Armstrong. He'll pick up the kill, that one going into the third row of bleachers. Back in comes Kerr, and behind the line, Cormac Williams. Just over the net, and that'll be enough for the ace. That one, a friendly roll over. Marquez unable to make the diving effort. Three aces for Hong to start the set. Now one for the stud, Cormac Williams. Mustang still down four. B team trying to get the squad involved. That one ricochet nearly up to me off Irola. Back-to-back -back aces for Cormac Williams. That B team, like we saw yesterday, definitely the more vocal and have all the antics of all the Cal Poly slow teams as Hong will pick up the kill. After seemingly every point, the B team Mustangs got, they had a new chant going. They sang the ABCs a couple times. Everything was going right and their 3-0 sweep over the banana slugs yesterday afternoon. That B team finds himself in the finals for the D2 title, taking on San Jose State later this afternoon. Rally going for the Mustangs. Trying to just feed their star players on the outside. Irola deep position. This will give the Mustangs a good try. Right side Armstrong, Irola's there. Hong Force to just bump it over. Another try upcoming for Slow. Ending it is Armstrong. You give him two tries, he won't mess up both. And the Mustangs back within two. You can feel the momentum sliding that way. 
still early in set three, but it feels like another point or two could call Coach Hahn to call timeout for the Broncos. This time the net in favor of Santa Clara. That one unable to spin its way across. A setter Jack Mayer behind the line to serve. Up the middle attack once more to Mustangs. Joel Petrie haven't called Petrie's name since back in the first set. Mullet man gets a ninth point for the Mustangs. As that Cardinal logo continues to be won by Slow. Taylor plays Odo up the middle. There's the logo win for the Broncos. Odo now up to four kills on the game. Odo in yesterday's win over Chico State. Active early before settling down and taking a backseat role to both Irola and Hong. Left side curve. Mayer keeps it alive for Hong. Good rally now from the Mustang side of things. Mayer plays Irola stuffed at the net. There's Petri back-to-back -back points for the Mustangs. Curve back to serve for Cal Poly. Taylor gives Odo another try. Mustangs a good opportunity. Williams met at the net by the duo of Madden and Odo. It's been the defense for both sides getting the last few points. Alex Marquez serving now from the left side. Left side action, Cormac picks up the kill, ricocheting off Madden. Brandon Ng going behind the line to serve for Cal Poly. Deep breath for Ng. Jump serve to Hong. Irola gets it back. And he finishes the play, quick fashion for the Broncos, a one, two, three punch. Seth Madden ready to serve with the Broncos up 14 to 11 over the Mustangs as we've passed the halfway point in this third set. Good action between these two squads, exactly what we'd expect from a one and a three seed. Mustangs get the point as the Broncos unable to rally on their side. Long back in for the Broncos. Armstrong for the Mustangs and behind the line, Harry Kasif. Up the middle, Morgan. Kasif is ready. Cormac left side, deflected off Wong and to the back wall. Slow within one now on the Broncos. Despite this being just a 14-13 score, hasn't really been back and forth. It's been a battle of runs. And right now it's in favor of Cal Poly Slow, down one, heading into the timeout break.
Message in the huddle for the Broncos is just to get back to their game. They feel like they're getting beat at what they're best at, tacking from the outside. Nice run going on for Cal Poly slow. KSF continuing the fire from deep. Chip kill, freshman Morgan found the perfect placement in that front line defense of the Mustangs. Both sides now, out of their own timeouts, have come back with some quality offensive possession. Back to a two point lead for the Broncos. Ben Irola behind the serve. Hard serve right off the net. Just too much firepower to keep that one on the Broncos side. It spins over for the ace. Four aces in this set alone and the entire game for the Broncos. Kavai Hong had three within the first six points. I roll a, a missile. That would have been close down that back right corner deciding to play that was Zach Zoe. Two aces in a row for Ben Irola. And the two hard hitters, Hong and Irola, continue to be all the offensive firepower these Broncos need. 17-13 lead for Santa Clara. Mustangs with a chance now on offense. They take advantage. Nathan Zolocho in for the Mustangs. Gets his first kill of the affair. Cormac Williams back to serve once the ball is sent back on their side of things. Cormac quiet in the third set. He was busy in the second despite the loss. Hong right off the head of Kerr looking up at the gods. Where did that one go? Well, out of bounds. Point for Hong and the Broncos. We've seen a couple of headshots so far in this bracket. Two of them have come against Hong. Some bloody noses. That was for Stanford and Foudy. Right side action. Armstrong met at the net. A kick save from Williams. My goodness, the play stays alive. And a double on the Broncos. Cormac Williams, a sports center like highlight for the Mustangs. We saw the Broncos have a phenomenal defensive possession that rallied them to the point. Now the Mustangs return the favor, still trailing by three, now four after Hong responds with a kill of his own. Kavai Hong continues to be all gas, no breaks for the Broncos. Jack Mayer back to serve for Santa Clara. Pokes it to Kerr. Front side action. Kill goes to the Mustangs and Joel Petri. A couple points now in the set for Petri. A block and a pair of kills. And to serve for the Mustangs, Emmett Ernstein. Junior from Santa Barbara has had a couple miscues on defense. Now behind the line to serve, watches that one whiz by him. Hong fires a missile and he's been targeting Ernstein all game long. A few right in front of him, that one just to Ernstein's left. Hong, the senior from Kaimuki, Hawaii. Hong runs more, targeting Ernstein. And Hong just has his number here in the third set. We'll see if Hong goes right back to the junior Ernstein. Right to Williams in the center. Left side action for Kerr. Good up by Hong. Sets up Irola left side. Aren't seeing a good save. Kerr once more, met at the net this time. Chip at the net, Odo there for the kill. But no, net violation called on the Broncos. 
once more. Just tough to see the calls happening right below me from the sideline referee. Got a big six foot barrier blocking the entire body of the official that you guys can see in the bottom right. Odo up the middle this time, picks up the kill for the Broncos. Odo went over to talk things over with the official after being called for the violation. Clean things up there. Now five point advantage for Santa Clara. Trying to take back to back sets and a 2-1 lead over the Mustangs. Marquez back to serve. First touch goes over the net. I roll out. First touch, two handed kill for the Broncos. All things going right for the guys in red. They're going green still on the Mustang. Six point advantage for the Broncos. Into the timeout call by Coach Manny Carter. heavily on the side of the Mustangs. It's been all Broncos here and set two and three, silencing the crowd. Both the San Jose State and the Sac State team in attendance. San Jose State not playing until later this afternoon, but Coach Lee already in attendance in the second row on the left side. Left side action, good up from Hong. Sets up Irola left side, but he's met at the net. Petrie and Kasif getting it done. Still a five point advantage for Santa Clara over Brand Brandon Ng back to serve. Right side action, Madden off the net. Good save by Ng. Mustangs able to put it across on the rally, but a good chance now for Irola. Left side takes care of the point. Super senior getting hyped on the court. Florida Broncos find themselves at set point number one here in the third. Madden going back to serve for the Broncos. Looking for a final defensive stop and an offensive possession to put this thing away. Deep serve played by Ernstein. Left side action, and that'll be a point. And the set for the Broncos on the double. Santa Clara clawing back to take set two and three. Find themselves up two to one, heading into the fourth set here at Burnham Pavilion.
Jacob Van Roko back here for the fourth set action between the Mustangs of Cal Poly Slow and the Broncos of Santa Clara University. Broncos, a 2-1 advantage, taking the last two sets over the Mustangs for the Mustangs after switching sides. Now right in front of me, their message was get to their positions defensively before the action comes from the Broncos. They're playing too reactive instead of getting set before the ball comes their way. Also trying to be a vocal leader, Zach Zoe, the junior from San Jose, getting his team involved, trying to rally the boys to a comeback, force it to a fifth set here in Burnham Pavilion. Ready to start play is Emmett Ernstein. We've seen Ernstein be attacked viciously all game long by Kavai Hong on the defensive side of things. Now it's Ernstein's time to attack for the Mustangs. Odo up the middle, right off Ng and way out of bounds. Santa Clara, three straight sets, taking the first point. And the first two, we all know how that ended for the Broncos. Kavai Hong back to serve. Good up by Cormac, sets up left side attack and the kill for Livergood. The energy back for the Mustangs bench. Livergood after the attack, now set to serve for Cal Poly. Irola gets it right back, left side attack, too strong. Mustangs take the lead early in this fourth set. Never good to Irola once more. Back set, Madden. Good up from Livergood near the lights in the pavilion. Beautiful find and the point will go to the Broncos though on a net violation of Cormac. For the Mustangs, assistant coach Natalie Marks, the head coach of the slow B team, who as we've mentioned, will be playing for the title in the D2 bracket, 2 p.m. For Marks, she could have a very busy day, three games potentially, this one here versus Santa Clara, and then eventually the championship for the B team and perhaps the championship for this A team. Marquez back to serve for the Broncos. Up the middle attack, Kasif finally met by Morgan and Irola. Point goes However, to the Mustangs. Boy, I need an extra camera angle down on the sideline official. Keep missing all these calls, but that one clear out of bounds on the service error. Fifth of the game for the Mustangs, just three for the Broncos. That's really been their key to success compared to the game yesterday over Chico State. Eight service errors for Santa Clara yesterday, despite the win. Left side action, Livergood, too strong. Back-to-back -back points go to Santa Clara. <laughs> Seth Madden serving for the Broncos. Cormac, a tough first touch. Livergood, back line attack. I roll the left side now, right there is Ernstein. Williams, a little fist bump over Madden right there. No communication for the Mustangs there. The high lofter just fell in the middle of all five guys up front. Diving effort from Aang, not enough. And another quick lead for Santa Clara.
Better touch from Cormac, sets him up again. Can't take advantage. Left side approach in Irola. Beautiful defensive saves from both Ng and Livergood. Now to Mustangs, a chance to put the point away. Livergood's attack, no. Irola for a third time, finally finishes the point for the Broncos. Credit slow, staying relentless defensively, but too many good opportunities for the Broncos. Santa Clara winners of the Far Western Tournament earlier this season. So they've got this tournament experience as champions. Trying to now take the NCC VL title later this afternoon. Left side Kerr, he's blocked. Good save once more by the Mustangs. They're gonna stay with the hot hand. Irola gonna pick up back-to-back -back kills for Santa Clara. Eight. Three lead early for the Broncos. Early set for timeout call by Coach Manny Carter, stunned on his side of the court. Over their opposition, Mustangs of Cal Poly slow. This one's active crowd after the first set victory for the Mustangs, now dead silent in the bleachers. It's a sea of green, but the Broncos with a 2-1 set advantage. Rare mistake there from the star setter, Harry Kasif. Had a boost lead up to nine for the Broncos. Kasif as sure of a setter as it gets here in the conference. Madden will continue to serve. Up the middle, huge blow, but too strong. Nathan Zoloto trying to just take 22 points in one shot. Zoloto had a kill last set, his first and only of the game. Ernstein once more struggling defensively and another ace for the Broncos. This time Seth Madden, the third Bronco to have an ace alongside Iola and Hong. Zoe once more on the Mustangs bench, trying to get the guys back in it. Now down 11 to three. Left side attack for Kerr, floats it right to Hong. Up the middle, the freshman Morgan, another kill for the Broncos. And this lead keeps expanding for the three seed down south, Santa Clara Broncos. Everyone leaning back in the bleachers, rooting for the Mustangs, just not sure what's going on with their 10 and two number one seeded squad. Kerr once more, left side right into the net. Luka Kerr unable to get it going offensively for the Mustangs. Now some members of the slow B team coming over to the bench, trying to get the A team guys back in it. 10 point advantage for the first time in either side's bracket. Back serve, miscommunication. Good chance now for the Broncos in Irola. He's stuffed at the net, but another net violation called on the Mustangs. 14 
three lead. Coach Mandy Carter and assistant Natalie Marks unsure what to say to their squad trailing 11 points. The guys got to get it going down two sets to one. Cal Poly Slow needing a big battle down 14 to three over Santa Clara. Ben Irola once more the vocal leader for the Broncos in the huddle saying these guys are locked in and let's go finish things out. Two one set advantage. Now past the halfway point in set four. Mustangs out of timeout go right to their star. Cormac wide right point goes to the Broncos. So far, the 1v1 individual battle between Williams and Kavai Hong has been won by number 14 in red. Up the middle attack, Zolocho nearly the kill. Phenomenal save by the Broncos. Cormac's attempt, he's stuffed at the net. Ricochets off him, out of bounds. Mayer, Morgan, Hong all working on that right side. 16-3 lead. Something these Cal Poly Mustangs haven't quite seen. Madden, not the best first touch. Broncos able to save it. First touch goes back over. Teams are just trading touches. Now a try here for the Broncos. Morgan slams it wide left out. Finally, a point for Slow. Gets the bench going just a bit. Still trailing by 12 in this fourth set. Coming over to the scores table below me, Harry Queso trying to wipe off the ball. Able to do so in short fashion before heading back to serve. Kasif, the junior, trying to not let his brother Sam Kasif play his final game, the grad student from San Diego. Irola, poor first touch, a scramble mode for the Broncos as Morgan bumps it across. Another chance for the Mustangs. Right side attack, Armstrong spins it in the back line. Two consecutive for the Mustangs. And you got to start somewhere. Might as well go ahead and start here if you're Cal Poly slow. Still trail 16 to 5. Middle attack in Morgan. Freshman coming alive in this fourth set. Trying to take his squad to the D1 championship game where they're set to face the winner of the Sac State UC Davis A team matchup coming up. After the conclusion of this game, Ben Irola back to serve. Fifth year senior slams one into Williams. This one near the net. Mustangs unable to keep it up. Tough break there for Tyler Armstrong. 13 point lead. Now the chance coming for Santa Clara for what feels like the first time, at least on the court in this one. Rolla, another hard one. Ng plays it well. More action at the net. Left side, Armstrong, the flip. Good for the kill. Good reaction time there for Tyler Armstrong, the junior from San Luis Obispo. Couple local kids on this squad. Luca Kerr, who we've seen go back to serve, also from the slow area. Hong, backwards tip for the kill, my goodness. What can this guy not do for the Broncos? Just playing with his food. 
Now up 13 points. Coming in the serve for the Broncos, Cade Morgan. Action at the net, point goes to the Broncos on the double. 20 to six the score. And these first three sets certainly have been competitive. This, this one coming out of nowhere. Broncos five points shy of a 3-1 set victory and a ticket to the championship game. Right side, a missile right by Iola. Good attack from Armstrong. Irola going back to retrieve it for rolling it over to the Mustangs and Nathan Zoloto. Zoloto, the sophomore from Illinois. Rolls it to Irola. Hong met at the net, but another net violation. That one called on Sam Kasef and the Mustangs. The setter, Jack Mayer, behind the line for the Broncos. Four shy. A good opportunity for Sam Kasef. Makes the most of it. That one going up to the ninth row of bleachers. Sam Kasef active in that first set. Since then, the grad student middle blocker hasn't done much attacking. Emmett Ernstein back to serve for the Mustangs, down 13 points. Odo up the middle, gets the kill for the Broncos. A sophomore from Union City picking a good time to get back on the scoring column. Now Kavai Hong behind the line of serve, three, sa three aces already that is. That one right into the net. Another service error for the Broncos, four on the game. Slow still, shy of the double digit mark here in the fourth set. Josh Livergood goes back to serve. Colorado native puts it right to Irola. Odo again up the middle, good first touch by Emmett. Front set, Irola deflected at the net. And they let it go out of bounds for the kill. Good communication for the Broncos to let the libero. Marquez let it fall out of play. And that's been the difference, the communication. These Mustangs just not talking as much. A lot of balls just falling in the middle of their players. Side switch set. Right there is Mayer. Second touch kill, Irola, no. Sets up Cormac again, finishes the point for the Mustangs. Workout out Pauly Slow. Now needing some sort of miracle comeback, 23-10. Broncos two points shy of the match victory. Freshman Ng, a rocket to Hong. Left side, Irola, the roller. Good up from Ernstein. Livergood with the back line kill for the Mustangs. That one trickles off the net right in the middle of a triangle of red jerseys. Now a big crowd going on on the Cal Poly A team side. Nearly half of the B team making their way into the area as the A-team one point shy of defeat. Match point number one for Santa Clara. Seth Madden back to serve for the Broncos. Seaside native right to Ernstein. Broncos go left side through their star. Marquez is there. Change that victory for Hong and he's got it for the Broncos. They punch their ticket to the championship game. And the number one seed down south, Mustangs, the second one seed to go down. The UC Davis B team, the other in the 